Google Drive is one of the most useful tools that you could get from Google and it's available to use completely for free. You could access it here at google.com slash drive. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it step by step. Now, Google Drive, they have two different versions of them. One is for work. So if you click Drive for work here, that's going to take you to that one. And they have one for personal. If you click go to Drive, it will take you to that. But what's inside of Google Drive for both of these is actually going to be the same. So if you use it for work or for your business, the sign up is the only part that's going to be different for you. The rest of this tutorial is the same. So what is Google Drive exactly? Let me share that with you first. Basically with Google Drive, you are getting cloud storage from Google. So instead of storing things on your computer, you could just store them on this Google cloud storage and then use it there. And it makes it a lot easier to share files. And if anything happens to your computer, well, it's on Google Drive now, it's backed up here. Or sometimes you may be running out of space on your computer. You could take all those different types of files. It could be PDFs, pictures, videos, put them on Google Drive, delete them from your computer, and it'll save you some space that way. So to follow along with me, go to google.com slash drive and click either one of these, and then it will bring you to a page to sign into your Google account. Now, almost all of us at this point have a Google account because they own YouTube. So if you have a YouTube account, you have one. If you have a Gmail email, you already have a Google account. So just type in your email over here to sign in. If you don't have an account for some reason, or if you want to create a new one, just press create an account and it will take you inside of Google Drive after that. Now, this is inside of Google Drive here. The very first thing I recommend is come up here and press new and actually start creating yourself some folders. That way, every time you upload any type of document or you create any type of document, it will be stored in a folder. Just the same way you would organize things inside of your computer, you want to do the same thing on this website. So usually I will create a folder and let's say everything related to work, I'm going to put inside of that folder and within that folder, I might create other folders, maybe things for marketing or for budgeting. I will create extra folders there. I'll just create a second one. I'll just call this personal and inside of that personal folder, again, I could create multiple folders. To then access these folders, all you have to do is here's a folder. There's nothing in it right now because we're just creating an empty folder to make organization simpler. I'll just double click and then you're inside of that folder where again, you could press new and create folders there. Again, I'm going to press my drive and this always brings you to the home page of Google Drive. The other option you have is how you view it right now. This is called a list view. So list layout. This other option is a grid layout. So it's going to look a little bit differently. I usually like list layout as long as I keep things inside a folder. It's really nice and easy to understand. All these other things here, I'm going to show you as we go through the process. Next, let's press the plus sign one more time. And then as you look here, you could upload files directly from your computer or entire folders of files from your computer, or you could create different documents using these other Google products. So Google Docs, is a document maker. So you could make text documents with this from scratch. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet. Google Slide is for presentations. And they have a bunch of other ones here that a lot of people use. Google Forms is to create forms. So I do have dedicated videos for all these. So I'll show you these very briefly. I'll focus more on Google Drive for this video. First, let's go ahead and upload a file directly from our computer. So I'm going to choose this one. And here I have a bunch of different documents just to show you different types of documents you could upload and how they look. So I have pictures, I have videos, I have documents. In this case, let's go ahead and start with this document here. This is a Word document. I created this Microsoft Word, but you could actually upload Microsoft Word documents. If you look down here, it says one file uploaded and it's right over here. Now, I uploaded it again in that My Drive section, right? So it's sitting here. But what I want to do is I want to grab it and bring it into that work folder because that was the point of organizing it, right? To make folders. And then if I go in here, if I double click, I could see that document. And anytime you upload a file, you'll see a little icon over here that shows you what type of file it is. So different files are going to have different icons. You'll see as I upload more. But once you have a lot of them, it makes it really easy to find the different types of files. If I double click this, the nice thing is this converts it into a Google Docs. So Google Docs is Google's version of Microsoft Word, which is what this version was. But just like Microsoft Word, if you've ever used that, 
This works the exact same way, right? I could just type text. I could delete text. I could format text differently. All your Google Docs options and the menu is on top again. Watch that dedicated video after this one to learn how to use Google Docs. And right here, if you look on top, it's open the new tab. So if I close this tab, this is already in my Google Drive, right? So nothing happens if I double click it, it just opens a new tab. But if I close it, it's still saved to my Google Drive. If I make any changes, by the way, too, if I do this and I just made that change, it says save to drive. Automatically, all these documents, when you make changes to them right here, they get saved. So if I close this, the new version with the saves is already here on my Google Drive. What happens to this document on my computer? Well, it's still there. And it's also in this Google Drive. So it's in two places now. So if I decide to delete it from my computer, it's still here. But if I delete it from over here, if I press delete, it gets deleted from Google Drive, stays on my computer. So some people use it to back up all their documents from their computer. Some people move the documents here and then delete it from their computer to save some space. So a couple of different options there. Now, the other option you have this time, I'll go to the personal folder and I'm going to upload some documents, but I'm going to press new and I'm going to upload multiple files. So I could upload a whole folder or in this case, I could actually upload all these documents. I could just highlight them like this. So you could just grab your mouse, highlight everything in a folder, or you could just hold shift on your keyboard and select multiple and then open them like this. And it's going to upload all those different documents like this. I could have uploaded that whole folder too. So a couple of different options there. If you look on the left side, you see different documents have different icons. So the JPEG, these are pictures. They look like this. Word looks like this. PDF looks like this. Next, what I want to show you is now I'm going to go back to my drive and let's go ahead and create a new document here. And this time I'll create a Google Doc. All these documents could be created from this menu here. This is going to open up a new tab. It's going to be right up top. And this is just a blank Google Docs over here. So the first thing I typically do with these is name it. So this will be the name. OK, the next thing I typically do after I name it is I decide where to save it. So right now it's just getting saved. So I'm going to let this saving finish. But then you could move it once it's saved automatically. If you click this, you have that whole structure of different folders. If you don't save it inside of these folders, it always saves to the home page of your Google Drive, but it gets a little bit messy. So in this case, I'm going to choose the work folder again, move it to that. It gets moved. It's automatically saved. I don't have to do anything. If I go to my Google Drive now, it's going to get moved. Let me refresh this page so you see it's inside of this work folder and there it is is still open on this tab. So here again, you could go ahead and write whatever you want. They also have these AI options here. So this is related to something called Google Gemini. Again, I have different videos about that. So in this case, I'm going to close it because I'm really just focusing on Google Drive for this video. Now, the next thing I want to show you is if you add a PDF. So I'm just going to go ahead and press new. I'm going to upload a PDF. And here it's been uploaded. This is the PDF. But here's one great thing about PDFs. If I double click to open this PDF inside of my Google Drive, it looks like a regular PDF here, right? I can't do anything. I can't edit it. I can only view it. But Google Drive with Google Docs right here, if I click this, it lets you edit PDFs just like any other document. So I could go ahead and make this edit like this and it automatically saves to my Google Drive just like that. If anything, is deleted or altered, it's going to automatically save. So now if I go back to my home page, this document right here, it's been saved and it's created a copy of it because it converted it basically to a Google Docs. So I have the original PDF and I have this edited version of it, which is a Google Docs now. So a great way to edit PDFs natively inside of Google Drive. Now, next, let me show you some of the options you have with every single document and every single folder, because if you look over here, both of these have a bunch of different menu options. So the very first one is sharing it with other people. I'm going to show you this in more detail because this is one of the best parts of Google Drive, collaborating and sharing documents, pictures, videos with other people. Next one, if you click it, it downloads everything in this folder, or if I did it with an individual file, if I press this, it downloads it right to my computer. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes you want this document in Google Drive, but you also want it on your computer. Maybe it's easier to email that way, although you could email it from here. So that's a way to duplicate it. Another option is renaming it. That will change the name because once you start naming things correctly, it makes it really easy to use the search bar on top. So I typically pay attention to the name of every single document here and make sure it's inside of folders to make it easy to find. If you star something, if you click this option right here, if you look on the left side, there's a start section. 
So all your favorites could be available to you in one place. It's going to show you the file size as well. It's going to show you when it was last modified. The owner is related to the sharing, which I'll show you. And then if you press these three dots here, you have a couple of different options, like what app you want to use to open it. In this case, you could preview it or you could edit it. You could download it, rename it, all the same stuff. And then you could also delete it from here. But be careful if you delete it. It does store it in the trash can for a little bit but then it gets automatically deleted after a little bit of time. So every time you delete a document, make sure you have it somewhere else because if you delete it from Google Drive and you already removed it from your computer, you may lose it that way. Okay, let's get to the sharing option. So if I click on this document, again, I have this menu over here, but the same menu also appears on top. So if I press share right here, it's very easy to share different things. All you have to do is type someone's email address over here and it's going to find them as long as they have a Google account. And then you could go ahead and share it with them using their email. I'll show you this copy link option too, because this is a different way to share documents. So I'm going to go ahead and type another email of mine here, another Gmail account I have, and I've selected my account here. These three options, if you click this drop down, are very important. Do I want this other person that I'm inviting to be able to edit that document or maybe just to comment on that document to give me feedback or just to view it. I actually don't need their feedback or make any edits to it. Just view it. That will be this option. So select one of these, then make sure notify person is checked on so they get an email and then leave a message here. If you want, this is optional. If you want to tell them to do something and then just go ahead and press send. I'm going to send it so I could show you this email. The other option is if I press share again, I could go ahead and remove this person. I could transfer ownership to them. I'm right now the owner. Whoever creates the document is the owner. That's always the first person that shows up. So if you invited a second person, you could transfer ownership to them. Now this one, copy a link. This actually just makes a link. You could just text someone or email to someone, but it's still going to be restricted. So they still have to be invited here in order to be able to view it. But you can change this restriction anyone with a link so if i switch it now anyone on the internet with a link could view it or could comment it or could edit it so that's a really cool option to basically bypass this other security function if you wanted to share something with everyone with a link again this is a privacy issue though so typically this is not the option you want to choose you want to just send it this way so that way they need permission in order to access it but I did want to show you both of those sharing options. Typically, I just put in someone's email over here and just press send. And this is what that email looks like. So they just need to press open here to access this PDF document. And they could then download it from there too, if they want. Now, if you look on the left side, it says I've used 67 megabytes out of 15 gigabytes. So 15 gigabytes is a good amount of storage unless you start adding a lot of photos and videos. You can actually hit this free limit. So if you press get more storage, you could upgrade. So if you run out of this amount of storage, you could upgrade to 100 gigs or even more. They even have a two terabyte plan. And then you could go ahead and upgrade from there. And they do have a different plan if you're using the business version of this. Everything again inside of it is going to look like this. But the storage amount is different because the business plan is always a paid upgrade. And finally, if you press new right here, you'll see all these different options that I mentioned, like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms and others. I have made dedicated videos for every single one of these. So if you want to learn more about all of those, I'll put links in the description. Google Docs is typically the next thing you want to learn and then most likely Google Sheets. And I have a different video. If you press this option right over here, this shows you all the different Google apps beyond just Google Drive. And Google Gemini is their AI tool, AI chatbot, really useful option, Google Gemini. And I have a dedicated video about using Google Gemini that takes place in a different website than Google Drive. But I wanted to share with you some other resources if you like my teaching style and you want to learn a bit more. I hope you found this video useful and I will catch you on the next one.